So why are we all here tonight? Well, the story begins over 30 years ago. Three families came to the United States. Sharif Bordbar's family came from Iran. Albert Almada's family from Mexico. And Eric Wang's family from Taiwan. Despite their different backgrounds, they had one important thing in common. All three families were affected by some type of muscle disease. Sharif's family is affected by Becker muscular dystrophy. Albert's by Duchenne muscular dystrophy and Eric's by myotonic dystrophy. Their goals, shared family struggle with muscle disease, and scientific training led them all to commit to working on these diseases and brought them together in Boston. Tonight is all about sharing their stories with you. In the 1970s, Sharif's father, Jafar Bordbar, left Iran for UC Berkeley to study agricultural industry. In the late 1970s, he returned home to Iran for a short visit to see his family. Because of Iran's political climate in 1979, Jafar was unable to return to the United States to finish his studies at Cal. Around this time, he was formally diagnosed with Becker muscular dystrophy. About 20 years later, Jafar's son Sharif was able to return to the U.S. to study the very disease that affects his father. Albert's grandparents immigrated to the United States from Mexico in the 1940s. Albert's father, Albert Sr., was the first in his family to obtain a college degree and went on to become a dentist. His first son, Chris, was diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy at the age of four. A few years later, Albert was born a healthy baby. The two were very close growing up, and Albert began to dream of doing more to help Chris, but was unsure how to do this. At MIT, his interest in muscle diseases grew, and over time it became clear to him that he wanted to study the same neuromuscular disorder from which his brother suffered. Eric's parents came to the United States from Taiwan for graduate school. Shortly after Eric and his brother Thomas were born, their father started experiencing symptoms of myotonic dystrophy. He went to many doctors, many of whom did not know anything about the disease, but he was formally diagnosed in 1989. Because myotonic dystrophy is a dominant genetic disease, many of Eric's extended family members in Australia and Taiwan are also affected. It took many years and one very significant mushroom Swiss Eureka burger for Eric to realize that becoming a muscular dystrophy scientist and advocate would empower him to make a difference for his family and so many others. Years later, Eric and Sharif met at MIT. At this point, Eric had already decided to study muscular dystrophy in the labs of Chris Burge and David Hausman. And over another significant mushroom Swiss Eureka burger, he encouraged Sharif to do so as well. Sharif is now a PhD candidate at Harvard and studies muscular dystrophy in the lab of Amy Wagers. Through mutual friends and scientific interests, Eric and Sharif later met Albert, who was studying RNA biology with Phil Sharp at MIT. Eric, Sharif, and Albert realized they had a lot in common both inside and outside the lab. As they became friends and talk science, as scientists do, they decided to collaborate with each other, uniting their scientific expertise with their personal experience. In particular, they wanted to tell their stories to the world, to inspire others, to raise awareness about these diseases, and to raise funding for research. Fact. Curing diseases requires the efforts of many people and organizations in different spaces. Eric met Dustin Armstrong, Chief Scientific Officer at Valerian Therapeutics, a biotech company and had begun to work with him to develop treatments for muscle disease. They also learned of the efforts of Dustin's fiancée Vicky at the One Heartbeat Foundation, 
a nonprofit focused on bringing together and educating all stakeholders about drug development. They all realized that together, they could achieve so much more than they could alone. Tonight, Eric, Albert, and Sharif are here to publicly support the Myotonic Dystrophy Foundation, the Muscular Dystrophy Association, to raise awareness about muscle diseases, and to facilitate relationships between all stakeholders for these diseases. These organizations connect the patients and families of the communities they serve to these other stakeholders and proceeds of this event will benefit research and patient care activities supported by these organizations. An integrative approach is critical to positively changing the future of those patients and families, and tonight's event was organized so that you might find ways to participate in this process. Eric, Albert, and Sharif's stories are incomplete. They are writing them every day, in their labs and in their collaborations with other organizations. They need your help to think about these problems to find treatments and cures for the muscle diseases that affect their families and so many others. By being here tonight to support them, you are helping write their story and shape our future.